Hi guys, welcome back to Taylor. It's time for another theory quickie. Here's a question from the FAA database. Approximately what percentage of the indicated vertical speed should be used to determine the number of feet to lead the level off from a climb to a specific altitude? A. 10% B. 25% or C. 20% So let's start by looking at why we have to lead the level off at all. So here we are establishing a normal VY climb at around 8 degrees pitch up and we're getting about 800 feet per minute rate of climb and we want to level off at 3,000 feet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to initiate the level off when we get to 3,000 feet and we'll see what happens. So here we are just reaching 3,000 feet now. I'm going to pitch down and initiate the level off. So you'll see here that we're still registering a slight rate of climb as we accelerate. What that's leading to is us actually going through 3,000 feet. So by the time that we actually accelerate back to cruise speed and reset cruise power, we're actually quite significantly above 3,000 feet and we've busted straight through it like the Kool-Aid guy. So let's try anticipating the level off by using the vertical speed. So this time we'll try a 20% anticipation. So the rate of climb that we're getting at the moment is about 900 feet per minute. So 20% of that is 180 feet. So what we're going to do is when we get to 2,820 feet, we're going to start the level off and see what happens. So here we go. Just pitch down now for the level off and we're starting to accelerate. You see initially we continue to climb a little bit as we accelerate, which is fine. And as soon as we get up to cruise speed or reset cruise power, and then we'll see where we are. And you can see there that we've uh, pretty much stayed level there at 2,900 feet, which has left us 100 feet short of the 3,000 feet that we actually want to be at. So this time, let's try anticipating the level off by 10% of the rate of climb. So you can see here that we're getting about 800 to 900 feet per minute rate of climb. So we're going to lead the level off now by around 80 to 90 feet. So as we get to 2,920 feet, we'll then pitch down and start the level off. So here it comes. And we start pitching down now. So we've selected a level flight attitude initially for around 80 knots. As the aircraft continues to accelerate, we're progressively lowering the nose to maintain level flight. But as the aircraft accelerates, it will continue to climb slightly. And you can see here that this is working out quite nicely. So as we're accelerating here, the aircraft's climbed a little bit. We're pretty much bang on 3,000 feet now. At cruise speed, which is about now, we're going to reset cruise power trim the aircraft and we're pretty much at the 3,000 feet we need to be. This is a particularly important skill when flying a slightly more powerful aircraft, for example this Biarch Bonanza, which has a much sportier rate of climb here as you can see, of around 1,500 to 1,600 feet per minute. That means that we need to lead the level off by a good 150 to 160 feet to avoid busting straight through the 3,000 feet when we get there. So I'll start pitching down around about now in order to not bust through that 3,000 feet and allow the aircraft to accelerate back up to its normal cruise speed. As you can see, I've left the full power in for now. The altitude's slowly increasing, which is allowing me to accelerate back up to cruise speed. And then once we get there, I'll reset the cruise power and that stopped us from going through the 3,000 feet and we've pretty much leveled off at the correct altitude there. So this, uh, this technique works with all types of aircraft, fast or slow. So the answer to the question approximately what percentage of the indicated vertical speed should be used to determine the number of feet to lead the level off from a climb to a specific altitude is A. 10% 